Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this photograph. It's a poor photograph, but I can kind of get the idea of the, of the shape and the design. They want to cut out a box. So I've already drawn in it. If you take the Smart Fill tool, this is what the wood would look like. Pretty neat little design. Uh, this thing is three and a quarter by three and a quarter, so it might not hold up because these would be little bitty lines. So we're going to draw another one. So let's draw a circle. Let's make it 0.35. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. I like drawing the center of the page, and you're going to find out a little bit why. Control D to make a duplicate, and then make the other one 0.45. So we're making that ring. Let's control G and group that together. Now let's take a rectangle and make a, hold down the square, uh, the control button and get a square button and go 0.35. Hit P, put it in the center of the page. Now we want to take this and move it down to about here. We want to, well, I'm going to bring in some indexing lines and put them in the center of the page. And I'm going to show you. Well, I don't need that one. I need a cross one. So I'm just grabbing the ruler and then hitting P. We're going to group this together, control G, and then we're going to move this guy up to where that box is in the center. We're going to control D and make a duplicate of it, and I'm going to hit the rotation twice, put it in the center. It doesn't look like it is, but it is. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees, control D, rotate it 180 degrees, control D. Now, by doing that, I've got four squares because I rotated the squares, so you'd want to get rid of those. So we can ungroup everything. Object, group, and ungroup are control U. I'm going to take one, delete two, delete three, delete four. It's going to go away. I'm going to bring it back. So now I just have a copy of each one. Now I'm going to control G and group this together, and it is, I'm going to make it three point or 1.35, just to make the math a little bit easier. I'm going to change my nudge factor to 1.25. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. I'm going to nudge that over. I really want those two rings interlocking, so I'm going to change my nudge distance to 1.2. I'm going to take our object and I'm going to cursor over 1.2. Now, before you do anything else, I would take away these excess lines with the virtual segment delete key. And there is a way to weld this, but by the time you figure out well, which one works well, and this just takes a second because we're making a duplicate of this again. So control D and make a duplicate of the whole thing and then move it down. So I've got the same rings in the center that I had before. Now let's take and delete these lines. Whoop, I'm gonna have to zoom in here. And that's why I did them at first, did the two sides and I I don't have to do the side ones. I just have to do the ones we duplicated down. This video might take several videos to get it all down because I like keeping my videos short. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's group control G and group this together. Now let's measure how thick our line is. And we should have already done that to figure out well, I know it's 0.10 or, or 0 0.1, uh, point, 0 0.05. It might not cut out. It might, but we need to interlink all these links now. So we're going to take the rectangle tool. We're going to go ahead and make this 0 0.5, 0 0.05. Get it the same width as our other lines. Hit P, put it in the center of the page. But also need to take our group now and hit P and put it in the center of the page. Now, this bar, this rectangle, needs to be a little longer. But it's going to cause me more trouble later if I make it too much longer. So I'm going to make a duplicate it, and I'm going to nudge it out of the way. That's the one I'm going to use in the center. This one I'm going to make a little bit longer and hit P, and I'm going to control D and make a duplicate, and I'm going to rotate it. 45 degrees. It touched, it worked. Now I'm going to take this one and rotate it 
a negative 45 degrees. And I've got that part. Now I can bring this one back in and control D and rotate it 90 degrees. And you'll see why I did that in just a second. This box isn't in, in the way. If I would have made it longer, it would have got up into that box. So what I'm doing, I'm just making it uh, where the smart fill will fill it all in and we won't have to, it'll be joined. Cause see if you, if I made that bar longer and it got all the way up into here, I'd have more stuff to work to get rid of. The indexing line is actually hurting us right now. So we're gonna get rid of them. I'm just clicking on them and hitting delete because the indexing lines are gonna stop from both sides uh, getting deleted. We're almost there. Now we need to do the center. Well, we need to do these. Now we need to do the center. The center is relatively easy. Just take your virtual segment delete key and go like this, just swipe through. And we're done. Now let's take our smart fill tool and fill this in. That's the way our design's gonna look. We're gonna move them over. And I'm gonna leave it like that. I was gonna have these exterior rings, but they really need to be part of something. And maybe this will be easier to make. So I'm gonna put P, put it in the center of the page. I'm gonna left click, right click. <clears throat> our object is now we're gonna make it 1.65 just to make it easier. And we're gonna nudge it 1.55, see what happens. Control D and make a duplicate. And then that way our rings are interlocking. Our squares are not perfect. So let's change it to 1.5, move it over. That'll actually work because everything's gonna to be touching. This, the center ones will just be bigger and that's okay. Now, because we've already done this, all we have to do is this one. Take your virtual segment delete key and just delete these inner parts and then delete these lines. Using what I did yesterday, hold down the mouse wheel and you can move your item around with, by pan, panning tool by just holding down your mouse wheel. That looks pretty good. That looks a little bit funny, but you get the idea. Now that'll be all filled in. Let's move it over, left click, right click. And what that did, that put it all together. It sealed them all together. Let's hit P, put it in the center of the page, using our same nudge factor, control D, and putting it down. Looking back on it, I probably wouldn't have used the squares. I would have used another shape, but that doesn't look half bad. Now we just need to delete what we did before. And I'm actually gonna cut this box out and create it and share the file on my Facebook page so you can cut it out yourself. All I'm doing right now is making the wood basically welded together. And there's really no way to weld this without a bunch of pieces getting welded out. We're almost done. And we got one more thing to do to make it stay in the wood because if we do it right now, the whole thing would just fall out. And then always use the Smart Fill tool to fill it in. That looks really good. Move it out of the way. We have one more step. We're gonna hit P, put it in the center of the page, left click, right click. Now, if we did this right now in a box, the whole thing's gonna fall out. Well, you know what, maybe it won't. Let's take the smart fill tool and fill this in. Let's do this. Yeah, the whole thing, I think is gonna drop out. So we need to connect it to our box somehow. So we're gonna take, holding down the shift key to bring this box in, 
we're just gonna go a little bit inside the line. Now this we can probably weld, or let's use front minus back. That's what we want, there's our design. Now, take your, let's see how big it is. Let's make it three inches, and it made it three inches in all direction. Let's make the, a new box holding down the control button. Let's make it three, three point one two. Well, we need to make it a little bit bigger because we have tabs. Three point two five, and then hit P. So now this is what it's going to look like. This is going to be the wood. When you do that, and your black is going to be the wood, and nothing's going to fall out. So that is done. So I'm going to put this in a box form and try to do it just like this with has no lid and a solid bottom and actually has some different devices to hold it together that I've never really used before, but this I think will be really easy. So stay tuned for part two. I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.